sunrise over Mexico City has just got to be on your bucket list. That was one of the most beautiful sunrises I've ever seen in my life. And it's the proper way for the city to welcome me. Welcome to Mexico City. All right, so this is a big city. It's one of the largest cities in the world. Lots of buildings, lots of people, lots of movement, and lots of things to see. We're gonna be here for many days. There's just too much to see in Mexico City and too much to do in just even one, two, or even three days. So how are we gonna split it up? We're gonna split it up in many different regions of Mexico City because it's such a large city. And in today's video, we're gonna focus on just two little neighborhoods here in Mexico City. But after that sunset, I mean, I honestly think I could just sleep for the rest of the day and be happy because that was so beautiful. But we're gonna go ahead and slowly start making our way around the city and exploring this beautiful, beautiful capital. Well, the first region of Mexico City we're visiting today is a neighborhood known as Condesa. It's a really upscale neighborhood. You've got cafes, nice restaurants and everything, but it's really, really fancy, really, really expensive. I think this is where a lot of the expats probably live, but it's a very, very fancy, beautiful, sort of well-created place for foreigners. I would say that if there's a place that I wanna stay here in Mexico City, like if I were to live here, Condesa would definitely be the place to go. You've got tons of coffee shops, tons of foreign restaurants, you know, Italian food, Korean food, Chinese food. Um, and the buildings are just really, really nice pastel colors. You can tell it's built for foreigners. It's a nice place to live, but as a tourist, I don't think there's actually much to do here in Condesa. Now, Condesa doesn't have a lot of things to do, but if you're visiting Condesa on a Friday, there is one thing that you absolutely have to do, and that's visit the Condesa market on Friday. The market itself is actually really, really cool. It's super nice, super clean, and you can tell that it's pretty spontaneous. There's just a lot of people just putting their fruit stalls up. Um, and it's not even just food. There's a lot of other things. They're selling jewelry, clothes, basically whatever you want. They probably have it here. It's not like the biggest market ever, but it is a really cool market and that sort of green white vibe that it has is pretty unique, I would say, here in Mexico. It's not, a, it's not like a lot of the other markets here in Mexico. It's a little bit more, I would say, higher class which is, you know, pretty fitting considering we're currently in Condesa. It's a really nice area. It's a really nice place to walk around. It's a bit lively, but this is only on Friday. So if you come to Condesa, make sure to check it out if it's on a Friday. Well, once you walk to the end of the market and walk two blocks after that, you come to this beautiful green oasis here in the center of Mexico City. This is Parque Mexico. Now the park itself is actually a really, really nice park. You can see most of the people here are locals. 
they're taking their dogs out, they're hanging out with friends. It's a really, really just calm, nice area. And it's also really, really quiet. They've got fountains here. I think they have a boat ride going on. I'm not sure actually, but there's just so much greenery in the middle of Mexico City. It's pretty impressive. But like I said, there's mostly locals here. You don't really see a lot of foreigners. Condesa is just right across the street. That whole neighborhood there is just right across the street, right over there. On the other side is the next neighborhood we're gonna explore. But right here in the center straddling the two is Parque Mexico with its water fountains and everything. And it's a pretty peaceful place to come and walk around and just enjoy the vibe here. All right, well, right across the park, as I said, you'll see the second neighborhood here in Mexico City that we're going to be exploring today. This is Roma Norte. Well, next stop here in Roma Norte is Mercado Roma. To be honest, I'm not a fan of that market. It is a food market and it's probably like one of the main things to do in Roma Norte, but it's just super expensive and super touristy. Like they've got all like the neon lights and everything. It's for like the young people, the, 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 the foreigners. You can see a lot of people in there are all Americans working on stuff while drinking a coffee. That's just the place to be if you're a foreigner, but it just doesn't feel like Mexico. It kind of feels like I'm back in the US or something. So it doesn't really fit with me. I'm not a huge fan. Everything's also really, really pricey there. So I had to get out before, you know, I started spending a lot of money. All right, let's go ahead and see what else there is to do in these two neighborhoods. Okay, this space right behind me is Huerta Verde. It's supposed to be like a green space here in the center of Mexico City. But unfortunately, it's closed. It's supposed to look really cool on the inside, but we can't seem to get in today. So I think it might be because of the pandemic that they're closed, unfortunately, but it seems to be a really cool spot. We've currently arrived at Plaza Luis Cabrera, and this is a stop that is right here in the center of Roma Norte. And you can see right behind me, they've got this huge fountain here. Honestly, Roma Norte is kind of similar to Condesa really. You've got a lot of hipster cafes, young people, a lot of street art. But it's not like real Mexico. It's pretty westernized. It's pretty developed. It's really safe, but it's, it's super, super just westernized and made for, you know, foreigners who come here. I mean, you can see the fountain's pretty nice, the water is pretty green, but honestly, it's not that exciting to me. I mean, the, the area is okay, but there's really not that much to do. There are a couple of museums here, but they're not like the museums that Mexico City is famous for. But we're gonna keep walking north ahead of Roma Norte before we head to the next plaza. Next stop, just walking down the same exact road, we've come to Plaza Rio de Janeiro. And what's the famous thing here is this huge statue of David here, or sort of replica of the one in Italy. But like I said, everything here is just, they've tried to copy Western Europe and the United States. They've tried to make it, you know, nice and fancy and pretty for all the foreigners. I mean, that's the whole overall trend this entire street from, from the very beginning to this park now to this plaza, all the coffee shops, everything. It's very clear. They're trying to make this like a hipster, nice place for young people, for foreigners, especially foreigners. And obviously the prices are way higher in this region of, the Mex of Mexico City. But yeah, it's a nice park. It's just not very Mexican, like that's not real Mexico to me. Anyways, we're gonna continue walking and seeing if there's anything else worthy here in Roma Norte. Well, we've kept walking around Roma Norte, but honestly, there's really not that much to show anymore. It's a nice area, there's a lot of street art, but 
like I said, it's not real Mexico. It's just super, super polished, super, you know, cafe, hipster, trendy, but it's really designed for tourists and rich people here in Mexico. It's not the real Mexico City. So with that, the sun is setting soon. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more food and travel videos. I'm super excited to continue our journey here in Mexico City. This was sort of like a relaxing day, just to walk around, sort of get a feel of this area. Fortunately, there wasn't really that much to do here, but tomorrow, if all goes to plan, we should be seeing a lot more things and exploring a lot more of Mexico City. So fingers crossed, everything's gonna work out and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.